releasing that how his panting is as the deer panted for the water brook. How thirsty are you today? You better turn around and ask your neighbor. A few of you are here today, but turn around and talk to your neighbor. How and ask them, how thirsty are you today? Hallelujah. There is a thirst for more of the Lord God. And I believe that those that thirst after God. God is about to quench every thirst in this hour. Hallelujah. Someone give God a praise up in the house. Hallelujah. When I look at God and the word thirst, thirst it means to my God have a sense of dryness in the mouth or throat and desiring some food or water or something to quench that dryness. Oh, some of us in the body of Christ we experience enough of dryness. Yeah. Oh, you have been dry? You have been dry? Yeah. You have experienced, yeah. my God, you just need a word that will change you from this point. Yeah. If you have God, you've been in a place where you felt that your back was against the wall yeah. and no other way out. Yeah. Oh, you know the truth of the word, the word is before you, but every now and then you need to hear a ring of word yeah. that will quench your thirst. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, I'm thirsty for God. So that thirst is something that's a uh, hallelujah is a sensitive state, my God. Uh, hallelujah. That I'm one desiring, desiring, uh, and I have a craving for water, like I said, a fluid. Uh, hallelujah. In this hour, there is a craving for more of God amongst the one in Christ. Uh, the Lord showed me clearly. He said, Lord, there's some are longing uh, for the next move of my spirit. Uh, there's some are longing. They are tired of the same old, same old. Uh, Uh, when 
and the children of God first, we got to know that the fullness that he brings, uh, no man can comprehend it. Uh, when you go in the presence of the Lord uh, and you long for the more of God, uh, you long for more of his direction, uh, you long for the word that he so desires to give to you at that time. Uh, that feeling that cannot comprehend, uh, no one can hope comprehend that. Uh, from the realm of the natural, huh? because that feeling is a spiritual feeling. Huh? The presence of the Lord huh? will fill you, huh? will transform you. Huh? You will exist. Huh? He will, my God, transform you to His realm. Huh? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor today huh? that in the presence of the Lord, huh? I am made new. Hallelujah. Huh? I thirst for that living water. Huh? And I know that only Jesus can fulfill it. Huh? It ain't got nothing to do with man. more and more after you so much. He said, daughter, drop it like this. I'm going to make it known to you. Remember Adam and Eve. Even at the place where they was in the Garden of Eden. And they knew, my God, they was walking and talking with me. There was a place in the presence where they was experiencing Eden was representing the presence of the Lord. And Adam then had unity with God. They was united with God. But when sin came then and separated and God said in this hour, my God, because of my downfall, from the beginning there was a curse. Oh, glory to God. From my God desiring more God, Adam and Eve started to curse. They started to hide themselves because they were separated from the presence. And my God, the word declared, hallelujah, as they run to and fro, the Lord asked Adam about where I thou? How come I'm not experiencing you no more? I'm not hiding connection uh, that I once had with you any longer. Uh, would have you allowed to separate you uh, from this living water? Uh, I hear the Lord say today, uh, as many of us who are walking with God, uh, we realize to know that the enemy is seeking to destroy uh, and to pull us down from that place in God. Uh, but we have our God. Uh, we have already connected uh, in the realm of the spiritual of Christ. Uh, oh, glory to God. And we have an assurance uh, that if any man sin, we have an advocate. Uh, Hallelujah to Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And I tell you today, that my God, if you're separated at this hour, get back connected, baby. Because your spirit's in a terse that only Jesus can fulfill. Someone give God a praise up in this house. Only God can fulfill this. And Adam and them thought, they run up and down. I believe that when they realized it was naked because of sin, that separate them from the living water. But the Lord said not only that, he said, man, I'm falling daily. Even when I look around for those who have called um, many ministers and leaders, uh, instead of their hold of four, they have given up on me, said the Lord. Uh, but remind my people today uh, to get back to thirsting and being hungry more after me. Because uh, as you thirst for the Lord, uh, he will fill you. Uh, he will satisfy your longing. Uh, he will bring completion to you. Uh, I'm reminded of Abraham. Uh, he had a relationship himself too. Uh, he walked with God in the heat of the day. Uh, Abraham knew what it is to sit down uh, and commune with God. Uh, so he had a relationship like man. Uh, oh God, like Adam had started. Uh, we know that mankind do all desire for us to stay in relationship with him. Uh, and anytime we are out of relationship, uh, we will thirst and your neighbor. If you get out of connection with God, uh, you will have a thirst for more. Uh, to go back to that place in him. Some of us are longing for deeper realms. Oh, God said he is here for that. Some of us want to go higher. Some of us have been separated because he knows there is a place and time where we're supposed to be in him. He knows exactly at a set time where you're supposed to be. He knows that certain things have separated you. He knows that, my God, if you long for him in this hour, he will fill you in this hour. Tell your neighbor, I thirst for God. I thirst for God. Matthew 5 and 6 says, uh, He that hunger and thirsts after righteousness uh, shall be filled. Hallelujah. Uh, we realize to know that there is only one filling uh, that could satisfy man. Uh, and it's from Jesus Christ and him alone. Hallelujah. Someone said, Lord, I thirst to you today. Uh, hallelujah. John 4 and 14, Jesus said, uh, If any man drink of this water, uh, he might God. 
he give it to you shall never thirst again. If you drink of the living water, I ain't talking about the natural and feeling. I ain't talking about this living water. If you connect to the source supply, if you hold on to the altar, when you're going through, don't give up. Hold on right there and demand what was rightfully yours and refuse to move until you be stretching from on high. Someone say, I thirst, oh God. He shall be saved. So we know uh, a pathway towards uh, being my God, filling him in his hour. Uh, someone give God a praise up in the house. I curse for God. I want more God in such a way that until, uh, hallelujah, whatever I got now, that it's just enough. Uh, I'm just pure, hungry, every moment of the day. I become thirsty uh, more and more for the move of God. I want to see the act of God manifest uh, in the land of the living. If we look at the life of David himself, he's gone through some down time in his life. He falls, although he was still a man after God's heart. He still deterred, was deterred by the forces of the enemy. He might not, he had blood on his hands, but there was a time that he realized that he was separated from his God and he had to be drawn back.
And only Jesus could satisfy that. Yeah. You could search all over like the songwriter said. I couldn't find nobody. I look yeah. high and low, still can't find nobody. Jesus. Nobody greater. Yeah. Nobody greater than yeah. my God, yeah. like Jesus. You gotta know that. Yeah. So that church that we all have is God today. We thank God for there is a filling station. We thank God for there is restoration to the week one. There is a restoration for that week one today. There's a restoration for that one that is depressed today. And it's in Jesus today. Father, we bless you. Someone give God a praise. Up in house. Hallelujah. Church that only God can fulfill. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's nothing to do with a natural church. This is a spiritual church. Oh, fill our cups today, Lord, as we lift it up. Someone wave your hand in the presence of the Lord. We adore your name, Father God. We adore your name. We acknowledge you. You are King of kings. You are Lord of lords. Even as your word went forth, we thank you, Lord God, for your word is life. And it shall my God manifest as it sent forth to do so. Oh, God, even as we receive your word, God, we know, God, that in this hour there is filling, there is restoration at the altar. Hallelujah. It's at the cross, hallelujah, where we can receive, God, uh, more and more strength and power. We realize to know you will not reject nor turn us aside. We realize to know as we propel and pursue you in this hour, hallelujah, we're well able to conquer, we're well able to lay hold on what you have for us. So as I commend, God, your people in this house to you today, we pray that you search us out. Yes. Try us, oh God. See if there be anything that doesn't look like you in our lives. Cleanse us, oh God. Wash us, oh God. Oh, create us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in us, oh God. Father, restoration to that one that is my God dried up in this hour. Restoration to that one that feels like there is no hope. Father God, fill that quench and that thirst. Quench that area of God in their lives that they will not, Father God, experience that within this hour. That they will have a complete satisfaction, God, in you, Lord God. Which is you alone, God, that gives us the word and the strength and the power to live. We thank you even in this day. We thank you for this moment, this hour in prayer. We thank you for your will be done among us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, someone give God a praise.